What's up everyone? Well, it's the end of Overland Expo East, but not the end of the sweet video walkthroughs because we're here with my buddy Andy. What's up guys? And uh, you may have seen Andy in some Expo content. We've been hanging out. We met a couple years ago. We ran into each other, what, three years ago at Expo West? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. two, three years and uh, that's funny totally, and totally went crazy fan on you. you know, I'm like, hey, Phil. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we haven't done a walkthrough of your no. of your beautiful ambulance. What the heck's with that? Hey, my name's Phil, and I've been living in a four x four truck camper for the last five years while making videos of other quality off road campers that I think are down to mob. F three fifty two thousand one Ford. 7.3 factory four-wheel drive and it was fire engine red when I started mm -hmm. um, and I did everything I could to make it not look like an ambulance anymore. ARB bumper wrapped Tyree lights all the way around. These things are super bright. 17.5 um, winch in the grill there, a little Raptor conversion action going on in the grill. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Uh, I see that actually. It's kind of hidden behind the big oh, old yeah. bumper, but all the little things that make this thing, like you said, not look like an ambo and stand out. Yeah, and then I wanted to get rid of the duels in the back, so we ended up with 41 inch super singles. Um, military tires are fun, but it, it looks cool. Um, <laughs> Fox shocks. Uh, I got a PSC adventure steering kit up under the front because it helps me maneuver on tight trails a little better. Yeah, uh, that hydraulic assist definitely helps. Got my Midland radio there, and I run that little stealth antenna most of the time over the cab, but uh, when we get out in the backcountry, I'll break out the big boy. Nice. Um, I won't open all the cabinets here, but we got 30 gallons of water there, diesel air and hot water heater from Obasto in that compartment. This is my uh, tool slash junk slash jack slash chainsaw drawer. And then Back before Expo West, we, me and a buddy of mine fabricated uh, this rear swing out here so I can get the spare off the roof. And it ends up being pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a dual, huh? Yeah. Dude, yeah. That's and nice. And you gotta put a winch back here. Got a Solaire grill there in the box. Yeah, this little... thing this thing slides out, and you yeah. made uh, made me some chicken wings on that last night, man. Oh Appreciate yeah, no, you. that was good. Oh yeah. And I'm getting kind of whole outdoor kitchen set up back here, so I got a tire table or a table coming for that. And there may be a, a 270 awning in the future here in the next next couple days. So nice. I gotta I gotta figure out how to get it up there and deploy it. Yeah, that's uh, rad couple roto packs some extra fuel yeah. which i'm sure you don't i'm sure you get pretty good range it's a 7.3 right oh yeah yeah so i keep one with some diesel in it just in case i do something stupid and then the other one's just a, a, a gas for a, when i actually put my ktm back here nice i hadn't I hadn't messed with that in, in a little bit um turn overland windows uh, like I said, roto packs went all, even all the bumper and the, the rear light bar back here. That's a little V36 light up there from Tyree that uh, may or may not be out yet. Uh, doing a little R&D for them. Nice. You're a busy man. You're getting a phone call. Yep. Uh, way out here? No, we're not super far out. Um, this is still like the, the property of Expo East that, that we were at. So figured we'd go exploring around a little and tuck in the woods for the walkthrough. Yep. And then... Go inside here. I got my little giant ladder that I cut in half there. So that's the same ladder that I use, but yeah, you 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 removed some components yep. and did something real slick. One side off of it. And just left a little bracket right there. There's your step. Come up on. Flat. Easy to find a new one on Amazon or wherever if I uh, something happens to that one. So let's go in here. Andy, why haven't I done this with mine? I can, right? Yeah. I think so. I mean, do you ever have issues though, where like, if you're leveled out, like maybe you level this side and then like it doesn't really work or it always just well, fits good? Well, I end up leveling the steps. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. So that, uh, it, it does become fun, but you're kind of doing the same thing in your situation either, anyways. Well, it's true, I'm definitely, oh yeah. I'm I'm always gotta level the steps anyways. Yeah. Cool, well, I just okay. did that because it folds up perfectly flat. Yeah. And doesn't take up as much space. Yeah it in that backboard compartment with my snowboard there yeah so. rad come in here guys um yeah dude i love the the shower is this a shower basin then on the way in yeah yeah, yeah. 
So, Such a good spot for a shower. Yep, and I can I got a shower curtain there on the door. I can flip it up. I can actually shower with the door shut inside if I want to, but most of the time I do it outside. Mm -hmm. uh, queen size bed here. This flips over, and uh, pop up table comes up for a dinette underneath. I actually put a, a big zipper across right here, mm -hmm. so that it basically functions as a hinge. So when I get ready to go into daytime mode or work mode, I just flip that up like that. It. The same table pedestal I've got in my Jeep camper. Look at that. Love that pedestal. Yeah. Then the cushions come down. Like that. Now nice. we're in work mode. Dude, that's rad. Love having the the dinette in my camper, being able to make it to a bed. I sure hope you're enjoying this video, and if you're a fan of the Down to Mob channel, you gotta check out my Patreon. I just revamped it with early access to videos, exclusive content, private live streams, as well as exclusive merchandise only for patrons, Patreon-only campouts with me, and access to my private map where I share some of my favorite campsites that I've collected over the last few years. And that's all just at base level tiers. At higher tiers, you can connect directly with me one-on-one -on -one, where I can help with building your dream camper, planning your next overland trip, hitting the road full-time, and so much more. So go check out patreon.com slash down to mob, and let's get back to this beautiful ambulance. Got a cassette toilet in this box here, but I can slide it around, sit on it to cook, move it over to the table. Dual induction cooktop, microwave that I used a little bit here and there. We used it last night to make some mac and cheese. Yeah, uh, we did. That was good. <laughs> got a uh, dual zone Dometic CFX fridge there. Um, got plenty of space here for dirty clothes and, and boots and things underneath. Still got HVAC that runs off the engine that was a part of the original ambulance build. And then plenty of storage for clothes and uh whatnot back here i need to I need to organize some of the cabinetry work but got my magma nesting cooking set up there um let's see what else all oak um white oak plywood and, and and solid wood trim all over everything and most of the cabinetry that was in here is still original i just put new laminate on it except for I had to totally rebuild this section here to make everything fit in there. Really? I, I would have never guessed. Like, some people keep a lot of the Ambo stuff, and you, you get in, it's like kind of feels like half Ambo, which is fine. And other people gut the in, to its yeah. entirety. I thought you had completely gutted this. No. That's all. That was all there. I just made the drawers and the doors for that. Even this compartment was here. Made new doors for it, and I actually had to trim an inch and a half off the top of it so that I had space here. You can see I'm a little tight with that window. Yeah. Because I added that window and the one on this side because it's a little weird being in here at night and hearing something outside and you can't look out that side. So I definitely wanted <laughs> yeah. a little port window on that side. Uh, but yeah, we got shades and screens on these windows. We got benches here, uh, cushions for the benches. And one little cool thing that my upholster in Denver actually came up with is this is a sombrella fabric, so it's an outdoor fabric, but we put boat vinyl on the bottom so I can actually take this outside and lay it on the ground or, or use it as a cushion on a picnic table or That's anything nice. like that. I've got the same thing on the bottom of my mattress. So if I'm ever doing something, I need to take it out or maybe just throw it up on the roof and look at the stars or something like that. I don't have to worry about getting the bottom of it dirty. I can just wipe it off. That's nice. Yeah, I have sombrella on mine, but they don't have that. Kind of a happy accident when I'm in the wintertime camping scenario. <laughs> nice a little insulation there on the window so I need to make something for that one because sometimes when I go snowboarding I'm in this thing below zero and it's all that little bit of insulation helps a lot yeah that, that and diesel heater yeah um, that Wabasto dual top Evo I got in here is way oversized for this thing so it'll cook you if you wanted to yeah yeah I like uh I, I just I kind of like the modularity, obviously the table and everything, but then the fridge, and then you've got, what, this just pulls down? Yep. Yeah, that's so cool to make a full countertop. Yeah, I had to do that like accordion that. style fold up there, and then I have it where I can latch it up. Yeah. Once I get to camp, because I have, I can still do that. If I'd have flipped the table up, I wouldn't mm. have had enough space here. Mm-hmm. To, to keep it going yeah um, so yeah little things like that you just got to think in cubic footage instead of square footage absolutely now these things and uh 
course, there's always stuff you'll figure out, man, I wish I'd have done it this way or I wish I'd have done it that way because yeah. I can always say we don't uh, Sink. We don't use the F word in overlanding because we're never finished with this stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like the mirror here. What's up, everyone? Yeah. Um, that that just definitely makes it feel a little more spacious. Well, so it's that's neat. technically your vanity, too, yeah. Uh, yeah. in here. So my girlfriend loves it when uh, <laughs> she's washing her face or whatnot because you don't have to mess with some sort of portal little mirror or anything like that so yeah it's pretty cool and then yeah we've got uh got a max air fan there and i've got food storage and everything in these these cabinets and then 200 watts of solar on the roof i always say i'm east coast we don't camp in the sun so i've got another 200 watt deployable panel mm -hmm. under, the, under the bed that i can throw out in position and move around wherever i need to so yeah so we can stay stay hidden in the trees and the shade and campsite and and still uh still be getting some juice from the sun nice yeah that's that's clutch i just did that upgrade on the east coast as well so i'll gotta update you guys on that but um definitely helps too with the dual induction cooktop oh, yeah. there how many amp hours you got i'm running 600 amp hours of life blue lithium in that bottom compartment there 600 and... Then I got a 2000 watt and, uh, Victron inverter, DC to DC charger, um, all that good stuff from Victron. Yeah. It's way over complicated, but it works um, to run the microwave and the cooktop. So I've got oh, electric micro. cook station in here, propane cook station outside, mm -hmm. depending on what's going on. I grill a lot, so I kind of like to crank the grill up outside and, and uh, not worry about uh, smoking up the place. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to have indoor and outdoor cooking options for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, dude, this thing's sick. It's so homey. I really like the white and wood look. Yeah. Like white, spacious, woods homey. You get the best of both. I mean, I wanted something that looked badass to drive around, but it also is easy to like keep it looking good and clean on the inside. And this yeah. laminate, like you can take a magic eraser to it and make it look like new if you get anything anything going wrong with it. So it's great. And then. Yeah. This is the unicorn of the ambulance world. You find a four-wheel drive ambulance with a full pass-through of the cab, buy it. Because <laughs> then you can do something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that full pass-through is awesome. I mean, that's plenty big to to get yeah. a full-size human through. <laughs> oh, that just comes out of the way. See, yeah. like, that looked like it was built in there. But, again, a lot of modularity to this setup. I oh, like yeah. it. So... Get a, a third seat at the table there. I can slide it over here. Make it a little more convenient to uh, sit and cook. Yeah. And there may or may not be a cassette toilet hiding in that box. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Or even like, yeah, wrap on dry would fit in that box. A lot of different toilet options. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's cool. Bathroom, man. the kitchen, uh, the bed, the office, the lounge area and you got easy access to the cab so if it's pouring down rain or something i don't really have a whole lot of setup going on i can pull the pull the steps up the night before crawl in the cab and take off the next morning without even having to go outside or put shoes on so yeah yeah that's Rad. that's that's a must in my opinion yeah yeah i love it dude well thanks for cool. showing us man um yeah definitely thanks, give andy a follow at, yeah I don't do YouTube, I'm just on Instagram, so it's at the underscore Ambo. That's at T-H-E underscore A-M-B-O. Hit me up. You got questions about the build, anything, let me know. We'll try to help everybody out. Yeah, dude, thanks for showing yeah. us, man. This thing's a work of art. It's a beauty. Doesn't look like an ambulance anymore, so nope. you succeeded there. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah. Cool. Thanks for, thanks for showing us. Comment what you guys think. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, of course. Um, make sure you're subscribed. All that good stuff. Andy is definitely down to mob. Oh, yeah. I think the only question is, are you down to mob? <laughs> Ooh.